What's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for being here today. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the ESV Study Bible, but it's large print in burgundy bonded leather. Uh, hey, for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you know that uh, I talk about this study Bible a lot. It's probably my number one recommended study Bible. So I wanted to show you a little comparison between the large print and the standard print and, and kind of show you what's going on. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for being here. My name is Steve. While you're here, you're gonna be encouraged and equipped to be the Christians you claim to be by going through scripture and reviewing solid tools and resources to help make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and the bell, and let's get into it. So let's take a look at this Bible. Now I will say this, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a briefer review as far as the specifics that are in this Bible because I do have uh, full reviews of the ESV Student Study Bible, which is this one that we're gonna take a look at. And the, the I'm gonna call it the standard, ESV Standard Study Bible. So you can go take a look at those reviews also um, and I'll drop a link to those down in the description. Here's why I want to show you this is because A, I like you to know what resources are available. And a lot of people ask me, is that available in large print because they need something larger? I'm glad you asked. Today I can show you a different cover that's offered by Crossway and different print size in what is, for me, my most recommended study Bible. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So I want to say thank you to Crossway for sending me this uh, so I can show it to you and let you know what resources are out there. It comes in a really nice box and this is bonded leather and it's burgundy. Okay. And we'll show you the ISBN number here real quick. It retails for $89.99, but you can find it for less than that. Okay, on Amazon, I'll put a link to uh, Amazon down there and even Christian books. They're always having sales. So make sure you know that you can usually find it, especially during certain holidays. You can find them for less expensive. But this Bible is worth every penny of that $89.99. That much I will tell you. All right, so let's take a quick look at just this and then we'll compare it to the other two. Now, this bad boy is probably the biggest Bible I own with the exception of one actually that I can think of. I do own a, I don't even know what you call a family Bible. Um, I do own a family Bible that's bigger than this, but, but this bad boy is big. So we're looking at six and three quarters inches by nine and three quarters inches. And here we go, a full two and a half inches. So it's weighty and it's weighty because you're getting a lot of good, solid information. That is why I recommend this Bible. People are always asking, what, what's the best Bible? What Bible should I get? Um, well, it's not super easy to answer that question, but if you're looking for a study Bible and you have no other study Bibles, this is my number one recommendation. As a matter of fact, I'll post a link down um, in the description too. A video that I just did on my top five, this is number one. And I'm glad it's available in so many different covers. Now this is bonded leather. Okay, so it's not the floppy factor. It just is not floppy. The fact that it's so big in Genesis, look, I mean, I have gone through all the pages and flipped open all the pages. So it's not brand, brand new. I've been reading through it and flipping through it. But just in Genesis, I've had it for a week or two. Um, it still stays open because of its size. You're gonna get a couple of pages of white pages in the front or white paper in the front and then your presentation page. Fill these out. I really appreciate when they include this type of stuff. Marriages, birth, adoptions, family record pages because you never know in 150 years from now what family member is gonna be reading your Bible and wants to know more about you. I have a Bible that I wish had this section filled out. And I will share with you the legal information here just in case you want to pause and take a read through all that information but it's going to be a lot of this is going to be very very similar other than the fact that it's a diff, slightly different isbn because this is the large print you're going to get a table of contents okay this is important in a study bible and especially in this study bible because of all the things you're going to get not only are you going to get the 66 books of the canon which are here you're gonna get all these other information. You're gonna get timelines, dates, calendars, 
um, introductions, overviews, <laughs> time between the Testaments. This is a huge, huge, huge section that not a lot of Bibles, even study Bibles, have, which is what happened between Malachi and, uh, and Matthew, basically, right? Um, I love that they include that kind of stuff. So you want to become familiar with how to use the table of contents. Um, because look, look at all the contents, okay? Hey, let me focus on this just so you get an idea. If you want to pause and read through some of the articles and resources that are in there, just so you know what you're getting. This Bible is such a great tool to have and to read through. And then you get your illustrations, okay? So let's get into the scripture. Again, this isn't a full, full review of this Bible because you can go check out my review on the standard ESV study Bible. Um, and you'll get even more information than I'm giving you now. But I want you to see how it's laid out. I want you to see that it's large print, okay? Um, I believe this is a, about a 10 and a half or 11 point font. And depending on the page you turn to, I'm gonna leave it open to Deuteronomy, uh, but you get a different amount of notes. Let me find a page that has lots and lots of notes. This has lots and lots of notes, but sometimes that includes, this is good to see also, sometimes that includes uh, maps or calendars or a timeline, something to that effect. And I love this kind of stuff. That's why I recommend this as a study Bible. The commentary in here is highly reliable and the team that put it together um, is super solid. So we're in Deuteronomy 28. Let's take a look. Deuter oh, look, I flipped right open, almost to the exact page. All right, so you're gonna see the difference here. Deuteronomy 28, between large print, it's gonna be hard. These things are so kind of, both of them are so big that I don't know if I can, how well this is gonna go. Wish me luck. So you're gonna see a little bit of a difference between large print and the standard print. Standard print's about 8 point font, 8, 8 and a half. This is about 10 and a half, 11. You can see the difference just in the camera. Okay, so now I do wanna point this out to you. Some of you may have noticed and know what I'm about to say. In the large print, you're gonna get double column paragraph format. In the standard, you're gonna get single column paragraph format. In the large print, your reference suite is down here along the bottom. These are all your references, and then you get your commentary. In the standard print, your references are in the gutter, and your commentary is still on the bottom. About, I'm well, you get a little bit more room to write in the standard print, just a little, <laughs> barely any. Uh, there is, there's room for what I'm gonna say is basic notes or symbols in both of these. There's so much extra text that, that they couldn't afford to <laughs> give you a bunch of extra paper. Can you imagine if they give you a half an inch, this Bible would be half again as thick um, and it would be massive. So large print, ESV large print, great resource, especially for those of you that need a little uh, additional size in your font to be able to read it comfortably. As you can see here, I will also point out the commentary the commentary in uh, the large print Bible here is about the same size as the standard Bible's regular print. So that's something that you should know as we, as we look here. So without having the numbers written down uh, in front of me, you're looking at about a six and a half, seven point font here, about an eight, eight and a half here, about the same eight, eight and a half here, and then about a 10 and a half here. So there's your three different sizes of fonts. You can kind of tell the difference um, from the camera. Let's focus in here. So this is the standard print Bible, okay? And this is the large print held about the same distance away from the camera. Now we'll take a look at one other, and this is the student. This is the student study Bible, and your fonts are going to be. Eh, they're similar to the standard print, but in the student study Bible, you have again double column, paragraph format, and your reference suite is down in the bottom corner. So.
So those are, what I don't have is the ESV personal size, but the student but the student study Bibles is a very similar to the personal size as far as size goes. Okay, maybe I'll pick one up and we'll do a an ESV study Bible showdown. But I really wanted to take an opportunity to show this to you guys. Um, and, and again, the reason that I wanted to show you the differences in these Bibles and what's available out there is because, with all honesty, if you asked me. Uh, hey, what are your top two or three study Bibles? This one's not only going to make the list, it almost unanimously uh, is, is one of the best, most well-known, reliable study Bibles on the market. And the information that is in it is super quality. The, the, the stuff that Crossway and the gentlemen that have put in here, the extra resources and articles are second to none. So you do have, and we'll take a quick look at the very end here. What's interesting is <laughs> these really aren't that different in size, which surprises me um, a little bit because the font is so much bigger. But let's feel the paper. Paper on the regular. So I, this paper feels feels thicker to me. Um, that 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 was not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination. But what you have is a hardcover. I like I keep study Bibles that I use regularly like this in hardcover because they sit on my shelf really nicely. But I wanted you to see that it is available in a really nice bonded leather. You can actually get a premium version of this as well. Really nice bonded leather or leather. If this is going to be your everyday use, everyday carry Bible. Now it is on the weighty side, but that doesn't mean that. You can't use it as such. You do get one ribbon with the large print bonded. So again, this has been a review and or more of a comparison between the ESV study Bibles, the large print bonded leather in burgundy, the standard print in hardcover, and I did show you uh, at close to the edge the ESV student study Bible. And this is also in, uh, I think they call it leather soft. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the description. Something I didn't cover or something you want me to compare that maybe I missed uh, that you'd be interested in knowing. Leave those uh, questions down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Hey, thank you guys for being here with me today. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time. I want to say thank you to Crossway for sending me this large print ESV study Bible so I can share it with you to show you quality resources that are out there. Hey, if you found value in this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Maybe even share it with a friend because somebody else out there may be looking for the same information you were looking for. Don't forget, be who you claim to be.